Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Immutable X. So if you're not familiar with Immutable X, it is a layer two protocol built on top of Ethereum, and it's really focused on the NFT and Web3 gaming spaces. And the reason why this makes it especially interesting, in my opinion, is that Web3 gaming has become a massive narrative in crypto right now. And it seems likely that it'll remain a narrative throughout the bull market, assuming we are in the early stages of a new bull market. And you can actually see this if you just go ahead and look at the IMX price. So that's the token for Immutable X, IMX here. That's what I'm showing you. If we just look at the move out of October, up almost 300%, basically 300% off of the beginning of this rally. Super impressive move. And I think a big part of this is that it is a nice narrative fit. A lot of different games are building with Immutable X. So it has a lot of nice fit there. But the real thing I wanna focus on with this video then is if IMX might have some moves to make in this bull market, how high is it realistic to think that it's going to go? What is a realistic expectation? So if you've seen some of my previous videos recently, you might know the drill here. Basically, I'm gonna use a machine learning and simulation-based approach to get a realistic idea of where price might be for IMX in a full bull market. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first step of this process is to create a machine learning-based model to predict IMX's price at a given point in time. And that's what this model is doing here. And you can see it does a pretty good job of giving you a rough idea of where IMX's price should be at a given point in time. And it takes in as input three different factors. It takes in Bitcoin price, Ethereum price, and time being the last factor there. And the reason why I do it this way is, first of all, it keeps it simple. Simpler models are oftentimes better. And then also we know that crypto assets tend to correlate heavily with Bitcoin and ETH. So basically the idea is that if you know where Bitcoin and Ethereum are at a given point in time, it gives you some information about where some other alt should be. And so you let the model learn from that, train on that, and then give you these nice predictions. And the nice things about these predictions is you can ask it questions. So basically you can say, given some date in the future, given some Bitcoin price and given some ETH price, where would you expect IMX to be at that situation in that scenario? So you can feed it different hypotheticals. So for example, here in mid 2025, let's imagine that Bitcoin's price is up at 200,000, ETH is at 20,000. We then see that the predicted IMX price is at 17.3, not too bad. But then in a more bearish scenario for a bull market, at least where Bitcoin's price is at 80,000, ETH is at 9,000, a little bit earlier of a peak here, it's only at 2.82, so lower value. But as I've said in previous videos, and I'll say again here, this is not very satisfying because how do we know that these combinations of dates and prices make any sense? How do we know these are the right ones to look at? And the answer is we don't, and we kind of lean into that. And that's where the simulation part of this comes in. Or basically what we do is we pick some realistic ranges for our different inputs. So for Bitcoin, for example, it's the prior all-time high to about five times that, which is a general range I think most people would think is plausible for Bitcoin in the next bull market. ETH would be its prior all-time high up to about 6x that, which again, I think is where most people would put their predictions for ETH. And then dates are somewhere between 2024, mid-2024 and mid-2026. If history is a guide, then the bull market would be expected to peak out somewhere between this range, most likely. So then what we do is we just simply randomly sample. We just say, okay, given some Bitcoin price between these ranges and some ETH price between this in this range and some date in this range, where would the model expect IMX's price to be? You then record that, then you do it again and do it again. And I did it 10,000 times, just picking numbers and then looking at the predicted IMX price. And so what that lets you do then is look at what is the average predicted price for IMX given all of these simulations? What is the median predicted price? And what does the distribution look like? So to give some overall summary statistics, first here we can see that the average predicted price for IMX was just under $23, which is quite nice. It's currently trading at about $2, so that's a pretty nice return if it would do that. Median is a little bit lower, just under $18. Median is less affected by extreme outliers. It's just the middle price. 
It's less affected by extreme outliers than the mean, so that's why there's this difference here. And we'll see why this is happening when we look at the distribution here in a minute. Then I also am showing the fifth percentile and the 95th percentile. And really what this is just saying is that only 5% of the simulations fell under this value, and then only 5% of simulations fell above this value. So it kind of gives you those bookends. 90% fell in between these. So if we just go ahead and look at the distribution, this is what it looks like, where we see it's a pretty skewed distribution. Basically, there are some really extreme hyper bullish scenarios that could get IMX's price to really high levels from the model's perspective. But then generally speaking, things cluster more down in this range here. And so we'd see that the median is lower because it's not being as affected by these extreme outliers as the mean. But I think this gives a nice idea of the realistic range and relative probability or idea, at least from the model's perspective, of where we might expect these to be based on those different simulations. So now what I want to do is flip back over to the IMX chart and talk a little bit about wh what this would mean if we actually were to see the mean or the median play out going into this bull market. So let's go ahead and flip back over to that chart. And what I'm going to do is just look at some measurements. So what I have here is some measured moves from the current price up to the median price, which is here, and the mean price, which is right around up here. And so we're talking about either a 781% or a 1130% move to the upside, roughly, due to the median or the mean, which is a pretty nice return, I would say. I don't think that's particularly bearish. But then, of course, the ranges went considerably higher than this. If we think about that 95th percentile value of around $62, that would get us up to a return of around just under 3,000%, basically, to the upside. Quite nice. So really what this is suggesting to me is that with IMX, if we are entering into a full bull market and Bitcoin and Ethereum do well and the rest of the market does well, just based on what we know about how IMX relates to those other factors of the market, we'd expect it to also do quite well in that environment. And of course, these are the central tendencies, the median and the mean. But as I was just saying, it could even go higher than that. And so that would just be assuming we go straight up from current prices. It's totally possible to get a correction first. And that would just allow even more gains if one were to buy a dip and go up further from there. So obviously none of this is financial advice. You should make your own opinion about where things might be going. But I like doing these kind of analyses because I think they help ground us in what might be reasonable. That in a full bull market, people can get really unhinged from reality or untethered from reality. You'll have people who are going to give extreme insane price predictions for IMX and basically everything else. You'll see people saying that IMX is going to $1,000, for example. This would suggest that that's probably not very likely. But decent returns, pretty nice returns, do seem to be quite realistic from this analysis's perspective. And so I think this is just a useful way of grounding ourselves so that we know what to think about. And then in that full bull market, we don't just get carried away with the emotion and then ultimately make poor decisions based on people giving extreme, unrealistic, price predictions. All right, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us on X. A lot of updates on our models and more over there. And if you want to view live data from our different models and more, you can go to our website, PlarityDigital.io. Link is in the description.